Hello. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. So, okay, thank you. Uh, we will, uh, I will start your question first because you are here. Okay, so your question is, uh, is 40, is section six 40 what? Oh, 41. Okay. So, uh, we do here 41 first. Um, so, H of X uh, equals 3X squared plus 1 cube over X squared minus 1, fourth power. Yeah. So look, here this is a quotient. So this means we will use a quotient rule first. And you need to know uh, how the formula for quotient rule. So this one is h prime of x equals three. So derivative for top, three x squared plus one cube derivative times bottom minus minus uh minus three x squared plus one q times the derivative for bottom derivative for bottom then over bottom square Do you see this? Yeah. So now we need to know what's this derivative. So this derivative here, this derivative here, you need to be careful. Here we need to use the general power rule, this part. And f of x is 3x squared 
a uh, plus one. That n is a three. So derivative for this part, we need to use general power rule. So the general power rule you need to know is f of x n this prime equals n f prime of x uh, n minus one times the f prime. So you need to know the rule. So this part is three times three x square plus one, three minus one. Then times f prime is three x square plus one prime. So this equals three, three x square plus one square, and minus one is a square. This derivative is six x. So here we use general rule, find this derivative. And now here we have a derivative, the same thing. Here also use the general power rule, the general power rule. Here f of x is x squared minus one, n is four, because x squared minus one, fourth power derivative. So if you use the general power rule is four x squared minus one, four minus one, then times the x squared minus one prime. So this equals four times the x squared minus one Q. This part of derivative is two x. So we finish this derivative. We finish this part of derivative. You, you write down nicely. You will find the, the whole answer for this. That, that's okay? That's a, that's a answer your question? So you, I, I write down a little bit not nice. I will write down mm, nicer next time. Okay. Okay, so now I will answer Mary's question. So uh, Mary's question is a very good question. And uh, she asked me uh, also 9.6 here, 9.6. Uh, problem 37, problem 37. So uh, g of u equals the square root uh, u plus one over three u plus two. So if we want, we, if we want to, Um, no, you didn't need to simplify. So in my class, you didn't need to simplify. If you want to simplify, that's, that's, that will be great. So this derivative g of u equals derivative this. This one, I can write on u plus one over three u plus two, one half. I can write on this way. So now, I can use uh, the general power rule. General power rule. Ge general uh, power rule. And this f of u is u plus one over three u plus two. N is one half. So if you use the general power rule, here is one half uh, u plus one over three u plus two one half minus one, then times the f prime. f prime is u plus one over three u plus two prime. So now equals one half u plus one over three u plus two, negative one half. One half minus one is negative one half. So here, u plus one over three u plus two prime, we use quotient rule. Here we use a quotient rule. So what's what's that a quotient rule? Derivative for top times the bottom minus top times the derivative bottom. Then over three u plus two square. So this part. Now we copy one half u plus one 
over three u plus two negative one half. Here u plus one prime is one because here is one, here zero is one. One times one times three u plus two minus u plus one times the derivative of three u plus two prime. So it's a three. Here is a zero. It's a three. Then over three u plus two square. So you can get the answer is this one. If you want to, if you want to simplify the answer, that will be okay. Yeah. If you don't want, you just leave the answer here. Okay. So this is uh, uh, problem thirty seven. And she also asked me another good question is, uh, so I erase now. Uh, section seven. Se section seven. Clean a little bit. The section seven is problem thirty-three. Uh, se uh, section seven thirty-three. So, so they say find the uh, equation of the tangent line to the graph of y equals uh, e to two x minus three. At the point three over two or uh, one, yeah. So, um, uh, y equals e two x minus three at a point three over two one. So find the uh equation for tangent line for this graph at this point. We know if you want to find the tangent line, you need to know two things. One slope, one point. Point we already know. But we know the slope m. How do we find the slope? Slope means the derivative. So this means how we find the derivative. Y prime equals e 2x minus 3 prime. So here, here, derivative, we use the rule e g of x prime equals e g of x g prime of x. So uh, here, in here, the, the e, the g, the g of x, g of x is 2x minus 3. It's 2x minus 3. We use this formula. So derivative is e g of x is 2x minus 3 times g prime of x is 2x minus 3 prime. So this equals e 2x minus 3 times this derivative here is 2. So we find the derivative. So this is a derivative. And uh, if you find a derivative, you plug x, plug x equals three over two uh, into the derivative function. So we will find the slope is e two times three over two minus three times two. So e two, two times three over two is three. Three minus three is zero. e to zero times two. Uh, e to zero is one. One times two is two. So now we have slope. M slope is two. The point is this one. We can use the point slope form right on the tangent line. Point slope form is y minus y one equals m times x minus x one. We use this point slope form. We find the tangent line. Y minus y one here is one. Slope is two. Two times x minus x one is three over two. Three over two. 
So you will find the tangent equation is this. Yeah. So, uh, Mary, uh, do you understand this question now? So if you understand the question, uh, I will move on next one. If you don't know, I will stop here, explain to you a little bit uh, better. Yeah. So anyway, uh, if I talk too fast, you later you uh, watch the video. Okay, so the two, where the two come from? So I find the, the find the derivative, this y, derivative e to 2x minus 3 is equals, I use this formula, e to g of x derivative equals e g of x times g prime of x. Here, e to g of x is 2x minus 3. So derivative of this is e to g of x is 2x minus 3 times g prime. g is 2x minus 3. So e 2x minus 3 times this derivative here is 2. Here is 0. So 2 minus 0 is 2. So this part times 2. So now we want to find the slope. We plug. We plug x equals 3 over 2 into derivative function. So derivative function, we plug in this function. So m equals 2 times x is 3 over 2 minus 3 and times 2. So 2 times the 3 over 2 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. e to 0 times 2. e to 0 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So we find the slope. Is a two, so that that that's okay. So, okay, thank you. So, uh, this is uh, okay. So, George asked me uh, this section, uh, problem thirty one. So, the, so this is uh, section seven, um, thirty three. So now I will talk about uh, uh, thirty one. Okay, I erase this. If you didn't follow, you can go back to the video, check this problem again. Okay, so now I will talk about uh, uh, problem 31, uh, section 7, 31. I try to erase uh, the board so you, you also can check the problem. Okay, so problem uh, 31. Okay, uh, f of x, f of x uh, equals 2x times e to 3x. This is a very good question. Yeah, so this function f of x equals 2x times e to 3x. So here is a one function 2x times times e to 3x. So if we want to find the derivative for this function, first, we need to use the product rule. So try to remember what's the product rule. So here we use the product rule, derivative first part times the second part, then plus first part times the derivative for second part, for second part. So what's the derivative here? The derivative here is 2x, is, is, is 2x, so it's a 2, times e to 3x, then plus here, uh, 2x times this derivative, be careful. Here, derivative is not uh, uh, e to 3x. Here, we need to use this formula. You need to be careful here. Uh, I write down here. 
this we use this formula e g of x prime equals e g of x times g prime of x. We use this formula. Here, derivative here, g of x is 3x. Look, e to g of x. g of x is 3x. So this derivative, we use this formula, e to 3x derivative equals e to 3x times 3x prime. So this equals e to 3x times 3x prime. This derivative e to 3x, we use this formula. Here, g of x is 3x, so e to g of x, 3x. Time derivative g, g of x is 3x. So now you could e times e, 2 times e, 3x plus 2x times e, 3x. Here, what's the derivative of this? 3x. Derivative of 3x is 3. So we times the 3. Okay, so. This is uh, problem 31. So do, do, do you understand uh, here, George? Oh, yeah. So if you understand, please let me know. If you don't understand, you can uh, watch the video again, uh, you know, slowly. So try to understand, OK? And uh, this is uh, uh, this problem. And uh, uh -oh. let's let me see. Uh, Mary asked me uh, section eight. So we didn't talk about the section eight. I will talk about the section eight uh, um, after next chapter. So we didn't talk about uh, that part. Okay. So now I go back. Uh, uh, which section? Uh, section five. So section five, problem thirty-nine. Uh, I talk uh, about that uh, this problem in class. So I hope you check uh, your notes. So I didn't talk that one. Okay. Uh, Mary asked me. Uh, uh, yeah, so our test uh, only uh, cover section one to section seven. Yeah, no, no section. Mm. Uh, second derivative. Uh, second derivative, like uh, first, uh, so you just find the second derivative based on first derivative. Yeah, so uh, you need to know that. I didn't test the second derivative on test. Okay, so if you want me to give you one example, please write down, uh, please show me the problem. Okay, so now uh, I want to go over uh, the common mistake students make on our last uh, uh, test. Okay, so very, very important. I hope you get a better score tomorrow. So I tell the common mistake. Uh, the first one, the first one, uh, maybe I write down not very clear, write down the following derivative rules. So you need to write down the formula, not the name. Some students write down the name. Say the first one is a constant rule. Second one is the power rule. Another one is this. So I don't want you list the name of the derivative rules. I want you write down the formula for each derivative. This is one common mistake. Maybe it's because I didn't write down very clear. So this is one common um, a common mistake. A second common common mistake. Second uh, mistake is use the definition of derivative to find the, the formula for f prime of x for a given function, f of x equals 3x plus 5. 
So here, these students do, okay, this derivative, the first one is three, this constant is zero. So is a three plus zero is a three. So these students go only get one point. Why? Uh, uh, why only one point? Because I want you to use the definition of derivative, not the rule. Here, the students use the rule to find the derivative. You can't do this way. You need to use the definition of derivative, uh, for example. So I'll show you how, how to solve problem two. Use the definition of derivative, not a rule. If you use a rule, you will you just get one point. Okay, so this is a very common mistake. A lot of students uh, make this this uh, mistake. So when when I erase the board, you can check what's the definition of derivative. Okay, so check what's the definition of a derivative. So this one, problem two, you have to use uh, the definition of derivative, okay? Definition of derivative. So here, I write down the definition of derivative. So if a function f of x, you want to find the derivative for f of x, uh, f of x at x equals a, if you want to find the derivative, uh, what? I can't erase, I don't know what. If you want to find the derivative of f of x uh, at x equals a, so what's the definition? Definition say f prime of a equals limit x goes to a f of x plus a minus f of x over over a okay so this is the definition some use the uh, so we we use so is if you find the derivative f of x at any point x equals a, the definition is this. So f prime of a equals limit x goes to a. For this problem, what's f of a? f of a is, is we plug x, x, we plug x plus a into the function is three x plus a plus five. This is f of x plus a. So it's this. Minus f of x is 3x plus 5 over a. f of x plus a. In this problem, I say in this problem is 3x plus 5. So you need to plug x plus a in this function is 3x plus a plus 5. So, this part is this. Minus f of x, f of x is this over a. So now you need to do algebra. x goes to a, do algebra. 3 times x, 3x. Plus 3 times a is 3a. And then plus 5. Then plus 5. Minus 3x. And then minus five, be careful, this is minus five because we remove the parentheses, okay? So now over A, we continue to do algebra. X goes to A, three X minus three X cancel. Five minus five cancel. So top is a three A, bottom is A. So we do algebra limit, x goes to a, here just a three, so the answer is a three. So this is for any point a, so this derivative function is f prime of x is a three. So 
we find this by definition. Okay, so this is the second common mistakes. A lot of students use rules. This they eventually get uh, three, but they only get one point. Do you see? So if you use rules, very easy. The first one is derivative uh, is a three. Second one is a constant is a zero. Three plus zero is three. I don't want you use rules. I want you use definition of derivative to find. Yeah. So this is a second common mistake. And uh, uh, problem three, problem three, find the equation of tangent line to the graph y equals x natural log x at the point one zero. This this one very very similar. Uh, the problem Mary asked me at the beginning. So uh, I'm I will solve this one quickly. Okay. Mm, I, I just solve quickly. Roughly, you know the idea. So if you want to find a tangent line for this graph, at this point, so this means you need to know uh, the slope. You need to know point. Point you already know. You need to find the slope. If you want to, if you want to find the slope, you need to find the derivative first. Then plug x equals one in that derivative function. So what's derivative of this? Derivative of this, we need to use the product rule. So derivative for first one times the second part plus first part derivative of second part. So because x times the natural log x. So here we use the product rule. So what's the derivative x is one times the natural log x plus x times what's the derivative of natural log x is one over x. So the derivative function is natural log x plus one. Now we plug x equals one into the derivative function. We will get m is we plug x equals one in derivative function. Natural log one plus one. Natural log one is zero plus one is one. So the slope is one. The point is this by point slope form. We find the equation for the tangent line. Okay, so this is for uh, problem two on last test. This is a very uh, common mistake. Okay, so another very common mistake is problem five. Problem five I already tell students say the general power rule to find the derivative. So when you when you use the general power rule, you need to know what's the formula for the uh, general power rule. Okay, so now I erase the board. You try to find what's the uh, general power rule. So the general power rule, the general uh, power rule is f of x n prime equals n f of x n minus one times f prime of x. This is the, the, the general power rule, okay? So for, for this problem, a lot of students make a mistake is they, they forgot this part. 
they only do n f of x and minus one. They didn't. They forgot this. So, for example, uh, y equals three x square plus five three over four. So, in this problem, when we find the derivative for this three x square plus five three over four a uh, prime. So f of x is a three x square plus five. N is a three over four. If we want to use this general power rule, this derivative equals, this derivative equals N is a three over four times f of x, f of x is a three x square uh, plus five n minus one, so three over four minus one. We didn't finish here. We need continuous. F prime of I, f of x, f prime this. So three x square plus five prime. Do not forget this part. So this equals three over four times three x square plus five. 3 over 4 minus 1 is negative 1 uh, fourth times derivative here. This is 6x plus 0. So we finish here. So you, you cannot plus 0. So this one, I show you how to use the general power rule. So always remember what's f of x. In this problem, f of x is this and n is this. So if you use the general power rule, you need to make sure exactly follow the formula. Otherwise, you will make a mistake. A lot of students didn't do this part. Or they, they put this part, they, they put this derivative here. So they use, they know they didn't use the general power rule correctly. So I hope you be careful this part, okay? So this is the general power rule, okay? So this is, uh, for this one, problem B, problem B is a similar idea. Uh, please try to solve it. And, uh, but the tricky part is the f of x inside. Is a, you need to write on power way. So anyway, so f of x, here n is 5. Uh, f of x is 1 over x minus 1 over x squared. So now you use this formula. You need to be careful every step, OK? So this is uh, uh, another common mistake for the general power rule. Another mistake is uh, about uh, uh, a chain rule or a general natural log rule. Okay, so you, Mary asked me, can you explain how you got the one power, or negative one power? N is uh, three over four. So by this formula is three over four times the f of x is 3x squared plus 5, n minus 1. n here is 3 over 4 minus 1. 3 over 4 minus 1 is negative 1 fourth. It's negative 1 fourth. Yeah, the power. That's why we use the formula n minus 1. Here, n is 3 over 4. Okay? Anyway, thank you for asking because I know Maybe other students also don't understand why. So uh, I will give you uh, another example uh, students make very common. So it's uh, problem 6a. So for chain rule, uh, natural log, natural log one. OK, I show you how to use. So you, you can check the problem when I erase this. Ah, I can't erase anymore. 
Okay, so ah, didn't know you miss. Okay, so we talk a little bit uh, natural log, uh, general natural log rule. So for example, this one, natural log g of x, this derivative equals one over g of x times g prime of x. So how do we use this formula? For example, the problem 6a, f of x, f of x uh, equals natural log 5x square minus 4x plus 7. So look, this is the natural log. This is not x. This is a function. So that's why we need to use this rule, natural log g of x. So g of x in this problem, g of x is 5x squared minus 4x plus 7. If we use this formula, is this is natural log g of x. Here is g of x. g of x is 5x squared minus 4x plus 7. So, if we use this formula, f prime of x equals one over one over g of x. What's g of x is this? Five x squared minus four x plus seven times g prime of x. G prime. G prime means this prime. So it's five x squared minus four x plus seven plus seven, yeah? So do you, do you understand this? So now this equals one over five x squared minus four x plus seven times, what's this derivative? This derivative here, you, you use the power rule is five times two x two minus one. Here you use the power rule is four, here is plus zero. So this equals five times one over five x squared minus four x plus seven times uh, 10 x minus four. So the answer is 10 x minus four over five x squared minus four x plus seven. So do you see? So if you know this formula and know how to use this problem you just write down uh, right away. Yeah, yeah, make sense? So this is the problem uh, 6a, 6a. And 6b, uh, George asked me just now, the similar. Use the product rule first. Then you need to be careful. Another one, use the general exponential rule. Okay, last one is very easy, so use the quotient rule. Yeah, so then you use uh, the, the, the derivative EX is EX that way. Okay, so this is roughly the common mistake um, from last test. So if you have any question, uh, please tell me. Do you, do you have any other question home, from our homework or from the last tests? Okay, so yeah, our homework only cover section one to section seven, no section eight. So I will um, talk about section eight after chapter 10. So any any other question?
So roughly tomorrow we will have a test, roughly like this one. Maybe just change a different data. I choose from homework or from this old test. Mm, I change a little bit of data. But uh, uh, the rule you need to know how to use them. If you know them very well, you will be fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, just study homework and the test, especially uh, the old test. Yeah, make sure you know how to solve problems. So it's a very similar test one. Okay, so just study homework. A study homework and test this test. Make sure don't make the mistake. Uh, the average, yeah, not very high, the, around the 60. Yeah, some students do very well, some do very bad. I think it's around the 55 to 60. Yeah, some students do very well, but some students really do not very well. So, like I said, yeah, like I said, uh, we will use this part a lot on next chapter and chapter 10 and chapter 11. Yeah, no, don't worry, okay? So prepare, prepare homework and uh, this, if you still don't understand the answer or what's going on, just uh, uh, email me, maybe I write an answer, I email you back. So, because tomorrow we will test. Uh, so, generally we didn't have office hour online anymore. Okay. Uh, 49, okay, let me check. Uh, oh, 49. Oh, yeah, so that, that is a very good question. Well, I, I got some water because it's hard to erase. Okay, where the pen? Oh, I lost my marker, so it's this one. Okay, so point six, 43 or 49? 49, okay. Okay, so 49 say, y equals u four over three. U is three uh, x squared minus one. So they want you find the derivative of y prime. So y prime is three x squared minus one. This prime, because y is three x squared minus one four over three. Because y equals u 4 over 3, u is 3x squared minus 1. So y prime means this part prime. So here, we can't use the general power rule. General power rule. So what's f of x? f of x is 3x squared minus 1. What's n? n is 4 over 3. 
So this derivative by the general power rule equals n, n times f of x, n minus 1, times f prime. So this equals 3 over 4 times 3x squared minus 1. 4 over 3 minus 1 is 1 third times derivative here is 6x. 6x minus 0 is 6x. So now, now make sense, George? Yeah? So this is kind of general power rule. All you can say is chain rule. But, uh, yeah, so general power rule is a special case for chain rule. Y equals U, 4 over 3. U is 3x squared minus 1. So U is this, and 4 over 3 prime. So we use the general power rule. F of x is this part. N is 4 over 3. So N times F, N minus 1 times F prime. So it's this. Okay, so if you don't want to say this way, you also can use the, the chain rule, uh, like a book, say, a book. So the book, this is uh, how do you find the derivative? And uh, in, in the book, they, they ask you another way, say, uh, find the dy over du. And uh, du over dx and dy over dx. Okay. dy over du means y prime with respect to u. Find the derivative y with respect to u. So this means what's the derivative of this? Derivative of this, we use the power rule. 4 over 3. So it's 4 over 3 u or 4 over 3 minus 1. So it's a 3, 4 over 3 times u, u 1 third. This is dy over du. It's 4 over 3 u, u 1 third. Yeah, because we, uh, uh, with respect to u. What about the du over dx? du over dx means find the derivative. This function with respect to x is 6x. So then they say find the dy over dx. dy over dx. dy over dx by chain rule equals du over dy over du times du over dx. So this equals 4 over 3 u. u is 3x squared minus 1, 1, 1 third, times du over dx is 6x. So look, we got the same answer. dy over dx means y, y prime, y prime equals this. It's the same at the beginning. We use the general power rule, OK? So this is another way. Uh, I use the chain rule to explain to you this problem. Of course, you also can use the general power rule. Easier. So anyway, so this is some idea uh, about this homework and the test one. OK? So I didn't plan email test one answer. So you, I explained the common mistakes. Uh, why I didn't email the test one answer? Because I will choose some problem uh, from homework and our old test as tomorrow's test. So please go over uh, the old test and uh, um, uh, watch the video again. Mm. I, I talk about uh, the common mistakes people made on last test one. Hope you didn't make. Okay. So anyway, uh, 
Any other questions? So anyway, the common mistakes, uh, you 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 need to know. You uh, you will understand that you use the right uh, uh, rule or not, or you solve a problem correctly or not. So like uh, if I say three plus three equals seven, you say, oh, that's not true. So if you know how to uh, add the numbers, you will know uh, I do wrong. So if you 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 didn't use the rule correctly this means maybe you do wrong so if you understand you will know uh why i do wrong okay so um alien asked me uh how am i supposed to know what mistake i made so if you want i can send you a uh, yours so you check why you you check why it's wrong. So or you can look at homework. So homework is similar to this. So they they have some answer, or you can check online, or you can ask me again. I explain the common uh, mistakes about the mistake. Okay. Okay. So I will send you your uh exam. So please check, okay. So in a while, I will take a picture I send it to you. Okay, so that's all. Hope it will be helpful for your tomorrow's test. Please let me know if you have other questions, okay? Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow. Be careful. Try to uh, don't stay with the people too close, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.